Installing and upgrading are the same process, excepting for upgrading, you need to restart SketchUp after upgrading. If you're installing for the first time, you do not need to restart SketchUp. I have SketchUp 2014 with SketchyCam 1.2a currently installed, and I'm going to upgrade it to 1.3. I have downloaded the file to my temporary folder. I open it. I agree to all the conditions. You can see that it still thinks 1.2a is installed. I close SketchUp. Open it again. And we now see that it displays version 1.3. You can see that there are some new things on the menu. And that should be all you need to do in order to upgrade. Note that if you are running SketchUp version 7 or one of the older version 8s, you will not have this item on the menu, this install extension button. In which case you need to follow the detailed instructions for version 7 on the download section of the flatforum.com webpage. After install, there is nothing you have to do. However, to tune SketchuCam to your particular CNC machine, you should adjust a few settings in the defaults. If you click on the big blue question mark, takes you to the help. Then you take yourself to after install things to do. And read through this page and follow the instructions. Everybody's router will be a different size. Fill in the size of your cut area in these two entries. And if your Z travel differs from a hundred millimeters Fill it in under MinZ and MacZ. Please, please follow the instructions. It is very important that you get these settings correct. Do not set MinZ to zero unless you also set default tabletop is Z0 on the MISC options dialog to true and never change it to false in the parameters dialog. Failing to do this correctly will result in faulty G code generation. The recommended settings are MinZ equal to minus your Z travel, max Z equal to positive your Z travel. This allows both material top and table top is zero to work properly.